Hi and welcome, I'm Reverend Allie Bierman and I'm very glad you joined us here today for a gathering of Metaphysical Ministry International. Why did I create this online ministry? When I lived back east, I, you would think in Washington DC area, I would be able to find a spiritual group that matched my own beliefs, that fed my own spirit. Well, that wasn't the case. The things would be closer th than others, but nothing. So I thought, gee, if I'm looking for something I can't find, what's it like for people who don't live in a big metropolitan area or city like our nation's capital? So I decided I'm going to become a minister and I'm going to do my ministry online so that you have a place to go, so that you have a community to be part of, to share, to explore your own spiritual needs and the metaphysics. Well, that's the philosophical part of quantum physics. It's all about the reality of how you create your reality. It's all about the fact that what you can observe with your five senses is less than 1% of what exists. We are evolving to become multi-sensory beings. That's why sometimes maybe you'll see an aura or you'll see just for a split second a uh, person or an entity or something and you write it off to your imagination but the fact is you're allowing yourself to observe that 99 plus percent of all that exists that you're not going to see or taste or hear or smell or touch. We start every week with a happy share and when you start doing a happy share you create the habit of happiness. So you do it every day for at least a month. And what's that doing for you? You get to relive the actual emotions, the actual chemistry that leaves you feeling good happens all over again when you share something that left you feeling good or happy or peaceful or calm. Because your imagination can't tell the difference between what you're living now and what you're imagining now. So my happy share this week, oh by the way, the more you get in the habit of looking for things to be happy about, the more you'll notice them because they are there every day. You miss them because you're not noticing them. Plus, the universe says, oh look at that, Allie's looking for experiences of happiness and feel good. Let's give her a lot more. So what happened for me, happened yesterday, and I was at a really cool workshop and I had set an intention of meeting three new people that I wanted to get to know better and making one new friend. So I was able to create that, but that isn't even the highlight. The highlight was there were two books that were passed around for us to look at and I was writing down the information because I wanted to buy the books. They were good little books and on topics that I write about, so I like to see how different people write about the same kinds of things. Well, it turned out the workshop leader gave us one of the books to have, so that was really nice. And then she offered, if anybody can read what this word's supposed to be, because it was a word somebody had made up and it was printed in one of her handouts, absolutely a word that didn't exist. I have a nice surprise for you, she said. And the word was very obvious to me. I told her what it was. Guess what the prize was? It was the other book that I really wanted. So that was definitely a great happy share for me. Now today I want to talk with you about the Golden Rule. I've talked with you about the Golden Rule and how I believe it's got some miswording in it and you can watch that video by clicking right up in that box. Now what I want to talk to you today in terms of the Golden Rule is looking at it as not just a theory but as a way of life. I'm reading this book by Napoleon Hill. Napoleon Hill wrote a number of amazing books about success in life. And success isn't always about your finances. It's about your health, your happiness, your relationships. It's just the entire picture of your life. So he has 15 laws in there that create success. And the last one in there is about the golden rule which of course is, and it might be said differently in different religious sects. But what it is, is do unto others as you would have them do unto you. 
and that all sounds very nice don't do an action towards somebody else that you wouldn't want them to do to you how many people actually practice that how many people actually even think about why it's critical to practice that if you want to live the happy life the healthy life the successful life that you really really want first of all I'm sure you've heard the whole idea which is proven over and over again by quantum physicists that your thoughts create your reality so when you think a thought it's actually impacting your own energy if you think a bad thought about somebody if you think a judgment about somebody well in order to be judging somebody else you have to be thinking that thought about you first before you can put it out when you think that bad thought your energy drops low to a low frequency you're not going to feel good you're going to be misusing your energy plus the fact that you're putting out a low energy going toward another person anybody in the environment not just that other person is going to be impacted by your lower energy and guess what they're going to show up as a negative person as a complaining person as the person who makes you angry whatever bad feeling that you created and sent out there they're going to move right into it they don't have a choice because this is happening out of your awareness out of their awareness and their energy is going to plummet down to that same spot where you know them to be when you interact with them you're hurting yourself whatever you put out must come back to you that's the way the universe works that's the way the law works but if you pay attention to actually living the golden rule think of it as well I'm not going to do anything to you that I wouldn't want you to do to me where our situations reverse but I'm not even going to think anything about you that I don't want you or anybody else thinking about me so what you're going to do is you're going to think a good thought now our mind works like a very very complex computer so what you're going to do is create a folder in your subconscious mind that's a feel good about other people folder okay and inside that folder you're going to place some fo subfolders you're going to say nice things about people based on their appearance you're going to say nice things about people based on their talents you're going to say nice things about people based on the fact that you just enjoy being around them notice how the folders getting bigger and bigger notice that inside each folder you have documents they are files within each folder because you're not just going to say one nice thing to one person about how good they look that day or one nice thing to only one person about how good you feel when you're being around them every time that you say something nice about a person new file goes into one of the folders it's already there wow you're building it bigger and bigger well, what happens is this expands is the file folder that you've got in the subconscious now about the bad things you say about people about the negative things you just think and don't even have to say about people you're not feeding that folder anymore it's going to wither away but this one's going to keep getting bigger and bigger and what's going to happen napoleon hill calls it auto suggestion you're going to create a way of being for yourself that you only and automatically think say act on good thoughts and good words about other people in doing that you are raising your own energy up here you're raising their energy up here and guess what people will always show up the way you expect them to show up and they will show up at an energy vibrating in harmony with yours you want your world to be great just think about how great other people are send them love everybody can use more love so think about somebody in your world 
who you wish they showed up a different way for you. You wish that they were more pleasant, or you wish that they didn't complain, or you wish they didn't walk around with a scowl on their face. And this week, every time you're about to see them or talk to them, or even when you just think about them when they're not there, think a thought of love, a happy, a pleasant thought that you'd like them to think that way about you. Notice what happens after doing that for only a week. Notice what happens the next time you see that person. Better yet, notice what happens the next time you think about that person after just one short week. You'll be surprised, you'll be pleased, you want to continue it and come back here and scroll down there, leave us a comment and share exactly what happened. By the way, you can leave your happy share down there too because chances are that will be your happy share. Now, if you're on the ministry page and you look up there, you'll see a page and it's called Hold the Space For. Hold the Space For is seeing somebody create a reality that they're not living now. They want to manifest something in their life that doesn't exist right now. And maybe it's a new friend. Maybe it's a new car. Maybe it's living someplace different or getting a promotion or getting an entirely different job. Maybe it's finding that relationship, that special friendship that they've been looking for, whatever it is. If you scroll down and you put down your name, your first name's enough, and what it is that you'd like to manifest in your life, everybody will see it. It will also move up on that page, up on top, come back here at least once a week, read the names, and the things that people asked us to hold the space for because what happens is you as an individual are putting it out to the universe which means the universe is already moving to manifest it for you at the time that's best for you but you're having extra help seeing that as your reality making your thought form bigger and bigger and bigger allowing it to come to you even sooner so tell all your friends and family, come to the page and go up to the hold the space for a page and read each name and what they want on there because you don't have to know any of those people. The universe definitely knows who they are. So glad you came by today. I appreciate your going down below. Leave us a comment. Tell us what's happening for you. Tell us your happy share and click share and like up there or down there. Because remember why I started this online ministry? I had no place to go to be with people like me in person. Who do you know who's like that? You haven't already done so? Go in over there, fill in your name and email, and I will send you a copy of how to take your first steps on your spiritual path. And if you're looking for some spiritual counseling, if you'd like to know how to really get in touch with your higher self. When I manifest things just like this these days, because I really know how to communicate directly both ways with my higher self, which is my spirit, the part of me that's immortal, that's part of the universe. Wouldn't you like to know how to do that? It simplifies your life. I wish you a wonderful week discovering what kind of programs you can put in your own subconscious mind to make your life flow, to raise your energy up to one of happiness. Blessings.